I made it! So I'm here at Lightning Revival and I am about to get my first session done on my eyebrows. Microblading. Uh, these are what you're seeing are my real natural brows. No makeup, no brow pencil, nothing. So I'm very, very excited. A little nervous, but I'm more excited than nervous. So my appointment's in about 15 minutes and we can go ahead and start. I'm super excited. Let's do this. Alright, I have the numbing stuff on. The lidocaine. I'm gonna be sitting like this for about 30, 40 minutes. And then we'll get mapped out and another liquid lidocaine and we'll be good to go. It's a good luck, don't you think? I think so. Burke's here with me. Hi! <laughs> Yay! Like pokey and then when you feel it, just say yes. And that way I'll know, okay? Oh, there it is. Anything? Okay, you're gonna feel me touch your nostril to the corner of your eye, okay? Do it. really hard to do when your eyebrows are numb. I'm just going to say that. Is it really? Yeah. I can't really feel what I'm doing. Oh, how weird. I also haven't, like, fucked my eyebrows in, like, two weeks.
It's it's making my eyes water. Oh, I bet. go through after work and clean up your straight hairs. Okay. Nice clean strokes. Mommy like it. So it is currently quarter to 8 o'clock p.m. Um, it is the same day of me getting my eyebrows microbladed, as you can see. And I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of an update, kind of talk about the overall experience, how it felt, things like that. First off, here's what they look like up close. Now you're going to have to excuse the little bit of redness and some blood that is going on there, but they are still obviously... Very, very fresh, but they look absolutely beautiful. After work, I drove to Lightning Revival, and at noon, I started with my very first session with Carmen, and she was very, very quick and fast and easy. Like, I walked right in, and she was, you know, ready to go, ready to work on me. So once everything was all set to go, that's when we started the actual microblading procedure. Overall, the longest part of it was numbing and mapping out where everything is going to go. The actual procedure didn't really take that long. Now we did run into a few problems with my brows and my skin specifically, especially with this brow right here. You will notice there is a little tiny gap right in the front there on this brow. That's because I have a blemish right there as you can see and same with this eyebrow as well. I have one right there and thanks to Aunt Flo, those showed up unexpectedly a couple days ago, just my luck. So what she's gonna do when I go back in for my second session, which is about four weeks from now, she's gonna go in and touch up that area where the blemish is. So hopefully it'll be gone by then. But basically she said that we can't microblade over blemishes because pimples, she described them as like mini infections and you don't wanna spread the infection throughout the whole microblading like procedure, you know what I'm saying? So she just kinda of went around it and when those blemishes finally, you know, calm down and go away, then we can go over it with the second session. Basically what she said is she said the first session is all about kind of forming the brow and kind of getting an overall shape and then the second session is to go back in and kind of tighten everything up and make everything look more like put together. So that's why there is two sessions. Not everyone needs two sessions but a majority of the time people do go in for two sessions. So that is what I'm going to do. Another thing is I did bleed a little bit. Again everyone is different. You don't actually know what's going to happen until you get Get your eyebrows microbladed but it wasn't that surprised that I did bleed as much as I did just because I did have a shot of espresso um, this morning at work and she said not supposed to drink caffeine alcohol um, anything like that which I didn't have any alcohol obviously but I did have a shot of espresso when I got to work this morning so I don't know if that had anything to do with it I don't know if it's just the fact that my skin's maybe a little bit more on the sensitive side but I did bleed a little bit but nothing that's going to cause too many issues she did say that once everything is healed from this session they have a little bit of an ashy tone to my eyebrows 
but it's not a big deal and that's something that can be fixed in the second session as well. I am really, really happy with the color. I'm happy with the shape. I just can't believe like these are my brows. Like those look so real. It's crazy. I know they're a little bit shiny right now, but as far as pain goes, because I know a lot of people are going to be curious about pain and all that stuff. They have me numbed up pretty good to the point where I literally couldn't feel anything. Like I could feel something dragging across my eyebrow, but I couldn't feel any actual pain. There was one point during the um, procedure on this eyebrow where the lidocaine might have like wore off in one area I think it was like up in this area where it completely wore off and I could very much feel I could I could feel it and <laughs> it wasn't the most pleasant experience but it's not a big deal because as soon as you start to feel pain she just put some liquid lidocaine on there for about five minutes let it sit and you were good to go so and liquid lidocaine works on broken skin which is why they use it sometimes with tattoos. You can use it the same way with this because it works, it gets into the broken skin, if you know what I mean. So that worked beautifully. After that, I was completely numb. So very, very minimal pain. Um, but what I did feel was quite uncomfortable, but that was like 5% of the time. The other 95% of the time, I couldn't feel anything. It was a very pleasurable experience. She was very nice, very professional, very in-depth in what she was talking about. Really, really happy. And after everything was all said and done, she basically went through, kind of tweezed me up a little bit, like under here, wiped them down, and put some Aquaphor on them, which is why they are a little bit on the shiny side. And ever since I've been home, I've just been lightly blotting them every couple hours with just a tissue, just to get any of like the blood or lymph that's leaking out so I'm following the aftercare sheet as best as I can and tomorrow I will wash them for the first time overall I'm really happy with them like I can't believe like these are my eyebrows like, that's crazy to me I'd never see my eyebrows like this unless I fill them in so the fact that like I have no makeup on pretty much is crazy will film a little bit of the second session just so I can kind of show you guys a before of like the first session compared to the second one if you know what I mean but that's still like a month away so don't expect that like anytime soon because this has to heal first obviously. So I really hope that this video is helpful to you guys. I hope that some of you guys were able to learn more about microblading. Thank you to my sister who came with me to film for me and thank you so much to my best friend Christine for showing up as well. You guys are awesome. I had so much fun today and again thank you Carmen. I absolutely love my eyebrows. This was seriously like such such a good decision. I love them so much. I'm really, really excited about it. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe. But as always, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys.